warning, the following show will spoil the hell out of George R.R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire books and the TV show A Game of Thrones. Also, you're probably going to find a fuck ton of bad language. The explicit tag is there for a reason. Death and boobies, 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 death and boobies. Hello and welcome back to the Ironwood Network Book Club. I'm your host, Septa Ironwood, and with me as always is Maester Ironwood. How are you tonight? Oh, I'm doing fantastic, Septa. Doing fantastic. We're still on lockdown. You'd be doing a lot better if you stopped listening to the news. Well, you gotta listen to the news every once in a while. Yes, but not all day. I don't listen to it all day. I haven't had it on most of the day. I watched the news this morning and I watched a little bit of the news this evening. Okay. So, I haven't had it on most of the day. Most of the day I've been reading, actually, so. All right. Because, yes, the news is terrible. And getting worse. And getting worse. Yep. So that's great. Good times had by But now. we'll be done by Easter, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. If he means by that point, we'll all be dead. Sure. Why not? Right. All right. Well, what are we here to talk about, Septa? Because it's not the coronavirus. No, it's the captain. The Iron Um, Captain. Yes, the Iron Captain. Victorian Greyjoy. Yes. Yes. Uh, All right, so. I'm stretching, don't mind me. Okay. Sep has decided she's going to do some yoga or whatever during the podcast today. My back was a little tight, sorry. (laughs) All right, so before we get to a synopsis, which is going to be really short. Okay. It can be really short because not much happened. Right. Um, we do have a haiku. <clears throat> Uncle Three arrives with wise advice for Asha, but she can't take it. That is accurate. That is 100% accurate. Yeah. All right. So here is my synopsis. Victorian Greyjoy, the commander of the Iron Fleet... And youngest remaining brother of the Greyjoy clan arrives at Naga's Bones to join the King's Moot and hopefully keep Euron from becoming king, where he meets Asha, who intends to run and be the queen, and he tells her, you're a moron, you're an idiot, like all of her other uncles have. And that's where we leave off. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Stop yawning. It's a side effect of my medication. <laughs> All right. So, Septa, get us started. What do you want to talk about? Um. So, let's talk about Victorian's beef with Crow's Eye. Yeah, so this goes back a long ways. To Victorian's third wife. <laughs> yes. So he's had... He has bad luck with wives. Yes. His first one died in childbirth with a stillborn daughter. Yep. His second one died of the pox. Yep. And his third one died by his own hand. Yes, he beat her to death. Yes. Why did he beat her to death, Septa? Because she was pregnant with Euron's baby. Oh, Euron's baby. Yep. And they were newly married. Yes. At that point as well. Yes. Not good. No. Not good. So, yeah. So, he beat her to death and has not had a wife since. And uh, Euron was banished for that. Yes. And that's why Euron has been gone for a few years. Yes. Off to the east. Doing whatever he wants with his uh, band of mummers. Yes. Well, they're not mummers. They're silent people. They're mute. Because he cut out all their tongues. So, So they they can't can't tell tell people what what he does. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure they're illiterate. Yeah. Yep. And he's even painted um, the deck of the, the silence of, red. Yeah, dark red so that you can't see the blood stains. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a lovely gentleman. Yes. Lovely gentleman. Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, so that is the beef that these two have. It is longstanding. Um, Euron thinks it's funny. Yep. Yeah, but it's never going to go away. No. Ever. Um, but even with all that, Victorian still at the beginning thinks 
that he should acquiesce because Euron is the older brother. Yes. But then he convinces himself, I think, rightly. I think fuck somebody that. convinced him. He heard something and he was like, okay, well, now I have to go. Right. Well, yeah, but that's what he convinces himself. Yeah. Tells himself, okay, I gotta do it. Yeah. Gotta do it. Because that guy can't be the fucking king. Yes. Because he's a monster. Yes. Um, so where are we holding the king's moot? Or the queen's moot, depending on who you ask. Um, Naga's bones. Yeah, so it's on Old Wick. Yes. At the site of Naga's bones, which are what? It's a whale carcass. <laughs> well, it's bigger than a whale. It's a sea supposedly dragon? it's a kraken carcass. Okay, well it's a, a, a rib a cage. sea dragon. Yes, yeah, the, rib, the cage. rib cage of a giant sea dragon or a kraken. I always thought a, cro- a kraken was like this huge ass octopus or squid or something. Well, it depends on who you who ask, you or ask what. You. right? Exactly, or what mythology you're reading. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is uh, the bones of a sea dragon. Okay. And do you think that this is the bones of a sea dragon? Because it's so big that the first king of the Iron Islands, the Great King, turned this into his hall. It definitely could be. I mean, there in Westeros, there's all these tales and folklore about mm-hmm. all these myth- mythical creatures. And if there could be flying dragons, why couldn't there be sea dragons? Okay. So... Let me ask you another question. Okay. So these are described as white, petrified stone remains in the shape of a rib cage. Okay, so they're bleached. Well, they're bone. Well, so, yeah, but bone but that's been sitting out in the sun gets bleached. But are they bone? Can you imagine something else that you, after... You think they're weirwood trees. I think that it's a weir- the remains of a weirwood boat. That would make sense. Because you would make a boat yes. the same way a rib cage is made. That is true. I know they were That's made- a huge ass boat. And if it was made from weirwoods, then it would be white stone by now. <laughs> yes, because weirwood turns into petrified white yes. stone. I like that theory. So if it's not a giant whatever, Kraken. then I fully believe it's an old boat. That the great king or whoever used on the, f- mm-hmm. the first voyage that got people Yeah, he to just used his Iron boat Islands. to make his house. Yeah, right. Which would not be unheard of. No, it wouldn't. Because people used to do that all the but time. It'd be fairly common. Yes. Especially if it's made of something as expensive as weirwood. Yes. That is, you know, pretty irreplaceable. You would definitely want to reuse it. Yeah, because... There's stories all throughout our history of people, uh, when they stopped fishing or, you know, traveling, they took their boat apart to build their home. Right. Their home. Yep, exactly. So. Yep. It makes sense to me. Yeah. It'd be the perfect thing to make a great haul out of. Yeah. Plus, haul sounds like hole. That's a very good point. <laughs> I like it. <coughs> all I'll right. go with that theory. All right, cool. So, you need, I think, to read the world book about Naga's Bones, about the Grey King, because it's some very interesting things. I just need to get the book, because I never did end up reading about that guy at the end of the last know you didn't. chapter. Because I'm a loser. So, yeah. that's my fault, guys. Never did release that video yet. Yeah. We'll have to order it from Amazon. Yeah. We'll tell them it's an emergency yeah, item. Yeah, the book, because the bookstore is closed. Well, yeah. Saying, I don't want to go into. Do you want to go into a bookstore, touch a bunch of crap that other people have touched? It's bad enough no, in a grocery store right now. But it's like you're playing Russian roulette with whatever you. Grab. I know. It's like I want to like I want to disinfect my hands after I pick up every item. So don't touch it unless you're gonna buy it. We the last time we went, we didn't. Right. All right. So all right. So that is Naga's bones. That is yes. where we are. It's kind of like, this is like the the place where the Ironborn were born. Yes. The Iron Men. Yes. So, this is where their first king was crowned. Mm-hmm. This is where Balon crowned himself twice. Yes. With the, uh, the, the sea, the, what is it, the, uh, the Driftwood crown. Mm-hmm. 
All right, so let's talk about Victorian and Asha. Yes. So they seem to get along relatively well. Yes, they're each other's favorites. Yes, which I think... Uh, given, given that she's the only child that's been around for the last, like, 20 years. Right. Ah. Uh, it makes sense that she's the favorite. Yeah. Now, they don't seem to have a warm and loving relationship. But it's more than just tolerating. Yes. So, absolutely it is. So. Because he does get he does get happy when he sees her. Yes. He is excited to see her there. Yep. Um, they both think that they should be the new king slash queen. Yes. Um, Victorian has the same response to Asha trying to become the queen as basically everybody else. You've got to be fucking kidding but me. But she does have support. She does have support, but she admits not nearly enough. Yes. So because of that, and because she does understand that it would be hard for her mm -hmm. to win yes. just because she's a woman. Yes. She has a offer. For Victorian. Yes. Make me your hand. There you go. She will throw her support and the support of her supporters behind Victorian if he will make her the hand. How democratic. So, here's the thing. Ironborn don't have hands well, to the king. And that is the problem, right? Because be, with, the, with the supporters that they both have... Yes. They... Combined behind one, they would almost certainly defeat Euron. Yes. However, split, they neither one of them has enough to beat Euron. Right. Um, because Euron has been in the East pillaging shit, so he mm -hmm. has all sorts of fucking treasure that he's going to just start mm -hmm. handing out. And there's a couple of lower people who have declared are also running as well. Going to run, but they're no names. They don't matter. Yeah, that's the and that's the Steve Bullock and the uh, Michael Bennett of the race. Who exactly? Okay, they ran for president in the Democratic primaries this time around. Really? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> yep, exactly. So uh, I think the lowest person I remember is Tom Steyer. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. Um, yeah, Victorian is not having that plan, which I think is a mistake because, like, I think that they're number one. I really hate that we have so many parallels to our current political situation. I know, right? In this book. It's kind of insane. But, right, this is Bernie and Warren right here. This is Bernie and Warren against Biden. Yes. Or any Democrat against Trump, right? Mm -hmm. You you desperately need to get this one per like anybody but this one person can yes. be leading right now. Just because like we're two months away from the peak of the coronavirus, but we're gonna open the country back up in two weeks because the president's getting fucking cabin fever at the White House. Yes. He wants to go to Mar-a-Lago. We're all fucked and we're all going to die. Yeah. So, and then, like, Euron is that, is the Biden or Trump to the Iron Islands, right? Like, yes. The one guy who cannot be in charge. Is. And yet you can't get these two to come together and build that coalition that would defeat him. Yes. And I think that they're all going to pay a heavy price because of that. Yes. Because they can't get on the same side together. And do what needs to be done. And I think, I mean, I understand Victorian's point. But also, like, just throw her the bone. Like, you don't even have to take her advice. Yeah. Like, you can name her the hand. And then not use it. And then not take her advice anyway. Yeah. So, like, I don't see the harm. Like, right. as the one guy pointed out to him earlier in the chapter, the old ways are dead. Mm-hmm. We need to end these wars. We need to make our peace and stop being scumbag and assholes like we are. And steps in and says, what is dead may never die. Right. Exactly. So, so and that's where I think Victorian is misguided. And right. And needs, uh, uh, the one thing that could save the Iron Islands is literally him and Asha joining forces with their supporters, him becoming the king, 
her becoming the hand, him ignoring her if he wants to, or yes. making or sending her to like rule over like their portions of the north that they just right. want or whatever, you know, even if to get her out of the way yes. doesn't matter. And then, you know, down the road, when he's dead, she can become the queen or whatever. Right. If she wants to, you know. Another queen's mood. Right. So, and I think that they're making a fateful mistake. Agreed. By basically splitting the vote and not f- forming this unified front against Euron. Yes. Who is a fucking monster. Yes. And a demon. Yes. Just like you think Joe, he's an actual demon? Just like Joe Biden. Well, he's a monster. I don't know if he's a demon. He's a monster. I don't know if he's an actual demon or if, like, Littlefinger, he's kind of like a like a demon's kind of, like, puppet. Right. You know what I mean? So. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Where was I going? I don't know. You said so, so he didn't give me much of a clue. There was something about Euron. His eyes. Let's talk so, about Euron's eyes. So he has, because we've talked about we've talked about in previous episodes where he was, what he possibly had been doing. Yeah. So all he's those been things. over in the east. Yes. Which means maybe a shy, he maybe could Valeria, been anywhere and everywhere. Yep. Absolutely. As he says, he's seen. He has met thousands of gods, so mm-hmm. he is. Better equipped to be. And defeated them all. Yes. So, yeah. So, he has one bright blue eye. Yes. So, a nice blue normal eye. Yes. Like your shirt. Yep. And then the other one is... Covered with a patch. Covered with a patch so nobody can see it. You think there's a worm back there? No. (laughs) I do not. I like where your head is, but no, I do not. Okay. I know what's back there. What's back there? That's a spoiler. Okay. So we will find out what's back there. But it's not a worm. It's not a worm. Okay. So he is not the kindly man. Okay. Maybe. Okay. (laughs) It's George. You never know. He could tell you he's not, and then he could be. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's George. He could be like playing like the like the triple, you know, triple stamp, the double stamp, fucking reverse agent shit going on. So who knows? But, um, yeah, so Euron is insane. His people are insane. Yeah, the company he keeps are fucking nuts. Yeah. So he actually, at one point during Asha and Victorian's conversation, yes, barges in. in the in. dinner tent. Yeah. Yeah, barges in. Everyone goes quiet. Yes. Which Asha thinks at the moment is up to, is because of what she was saying. Right. But no, it's because it's because Euron and his and what his, ten of his men walked his in. His posse walked in, yeah. The mean boys. Yeah, and um, he is pretty set on the fact that he's going to win. Yes. Um, also, during that conversation, Asha stops just short of accusing him of murdering Balon. Yes. She won't quite go there. She right. heavily insinuates. Yeah. Isn't it odd that the day my father dies, you're back in town? You just happen to be back in town the day before. Yeah, the That's day after. Interesting. The day after. The day after. Yes. Right. Yep. That's very interesting. What a yes. coincidence that is, Nuncle. Yeah. So, what's up with calling everybody Nuncle? I don't get it. It's everything's a little off. Yeah. In this book, I don't get it. But whatever. Um. Yeah, so... I think it's kind of like mine own uncle kind of thing. Yeah, I think you're right. Something like that. Shortened. Because when they say mine own, there's two ends there, so it's just an uncle. Yeah. I just keep on saying knuckle. Knuckle. Knuckle sandwich. My knuckle. (laughs) You are are my favorite knuckle. You right there. (laughs) You left-handed pointer finger. You are my favorite knuckle. (laughs) I don't know why, but you are. All right, so, yeah, Euron is very cocky, very self-assured that he is going to win. Yes. He uh, mentions to everybody that he's already been sitting in the sea stone throne, so y'all can go fuck yourselves. Yeah, it has no objection. Yeah, it hasn't objected to him sitting there as of of yet. Yeah. Um, So he's been sitting there since his brother died, huh? Yep, um, his... We well, said they tried that out a few times. Yeah. Um, Aaron of the Damp Hair. 
Yeah, says priest. that a godless man will never be the king of the Iron Islands. And he says, but I'm the perfect man because I've killed anyone who doesn't believe in the drunk I'm god. I'm more religious than you, brother. Yes. Maybe you should kneel before me for prayer. Yeah. Crazy son of a Fucker. bitch. Wow. Yeah. He is, yeah, he is a special case. He is Cersei ramped up to 11 with actual skill. Yes. Which is fucking scary yes, when you think terrifying. about it. When you think about it, that is yep. really terrifying. So he's got terrifying. all these all these houses around him that Asha and Victorian don't like those houses. Right. And then all of his all of his crew on a ship, they're all dark They're all white seeming, yep. dark skinned. Dark skinned men and Everyone's had their tongue cut out. Yes, so they can't talk. And the maid on his ship doesn't even have a mouth. Yes. And it's called the silence. It's called the silence. Yes. yes. I wonder if he's got, like, tally marks on the inside of his cabin. <laughs> I wonder if you look away, you forget that it exists. Right. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this all takes place in that universe. You never know. Hmm. I doubt it. I doubt it, too. that'd be kind of cool if it yeah. did. That'd be interesting, just like... We get like a random like inside view of Euron's cabin and there's scratches in the wall yeah. marking off the fives. Yeah. That would be hilarious, actually. Just a little Easter egg for any Doctor Who fans out there. Yeah. I'd be okay with that. Even if it was like meant to symbolize like people Euron's like personally murdered with his fists or something. Right. Which I'm sure is higher than Victorian, who's only done four. Right. Three men and his wife. <laughs> right. <laughs> Killed with his own hands. So. All right. So. Because inside battle doesn't count. He's fought in. Right. Right. Great well, Rebellion. Yeah. Well, he means like beaten to death. Yeah. He, he's beaten four people to death. Yes. One of which his wife. Three of the other were three. The other three were men. Yes. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Since this is running a little short. I don't really have much left to talk about about this chapter. Do you? Do we have to talk about, like, the families that... That's way too many Ironborn no. names. Okay. Uh, usual suspects are with the Greyjoys. Split the amongst the Greyjoys. And, yeah, the good brothers are split amongst yeah, Victorian two. and Asha. Yep. Yeah. Uh, basically, the White Hats, as White Hat as Ironborn get, are with either Victorian or Asha. And then the red hats are with your <laughs> I was going to go black hats, but you can go red hats if you want. Sure. I'll say black hats so as not to offend anybody. Oh, please. So uh, any black slash red hats are with Euron. Right. Because they're going to make the Iron Islands great again. Thank you. <laughs> Was that mega? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna mega. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I want you haven't read ahead, have you? Uh, I think I'm only like two or three chapters ahead at this oh, point. Oh, I was gonna say I wanted to see if you wanted to give your predictions on what's gonna happen at the King's Moot. I did ring that read that chapter. I can't remember how it ended though. Oh, good. Perfect. So. Let's see. Who do you think is going to be selected? Will the Greyjoys uncle and niece combination get their shit together and get shit done like Sanders and Warren didn't? Or are they going to doom to let Joe I Biden become the nominee? I think they're going to doom us to let Joe Biden become the nominee. Because, All right. Because that's where our reality is headed. So that's probably where the book's headed. Yeah. And because no one can seem to make the correct decision on these things. Yeah. Everybody in power is dumb. Mm -hmm. They make stupid choices for stupid reasons. Usually it's because of history and yes. tradition and blah, 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 blah. And I deserve this. Yeah, I would like to go back to the, the smartest guy in the Iron Islands, apparently. The old ways are dead. Yes. Needs to be adhered to. Yes, and he was not a great joy. No, so. he was not. He was a good brother, I think. Yes. And one more question. Do you know the special piece of cargo treasure that Euron has that clinches the deal for him in becoming the king? No. 
It's going to be a dragon binding horn. And let's leave it at that. Ah. And we'll close out right there. Okay. And wait to get more into that when we get into the King's Moo actual. That's in the next chapter, isn't it? It is. All right. In the Drowned Man as... Ah, uh, so it's... Um, as Aaron of the Damp Hair presides over yeah. the uh, King's Moot. Right. All right. We need a title. Mega. Mega. <laughs> well, I had another option. What's that? Too many Krakens. Yes. Too many Krakens. We'll go with that. Because there are too many I Krakens. I like Mega, but we'll go with too many Krakens. All right, too many Krakens. Uh, we already said the Drowned Man is next, yep. the next chapter. So we'll be looking forward to that on Friday. Yes. This will be out today, today as it's being recorded today, literally. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Other than that, um, everybody stay inside. Please do your part. Yes, please do your part. Don't go running to the store for junk food. Every day. Yeah. Stay inside. If you see a big line at the grocery store, come back later. You know, yeah. all that good shit. Make sure you're washing and sanitizing the hands, not touching dumb stuff. Yep. Don't be like the morons that are out there licking toilets or whatever the fuck that meme is. It's a, it is a TikTok. TikTok retards. Yeah. Challenge. Yeah. So retards. Okay. We don't use the R word. I do. I, I come from that generation. Sorry. It's, it's a word we used all the time. Okay. It's just the way it was. We don't mean it in a disrespectful way to anybody who actually has mental handicaps. Mm -hmm. It's just a word that we always used. Yeah, people at work use MR for men for has some mental retardation. Mm. I don't like using it. All right. Uh, let's see. So for everything else related to us, check out our YouTube channel. Check out our Twitters and all that, which you can get the links to, as well as the link to our Patreon, where you can support the show, over at our website, IceandFirePod.com. Yes. We will catch you guys again on Friday. Don't forget about new episodes of I Made Alicia Watch a Sports Movie coming as well. We're going to be doing Little Big League. We're going to be doing Remember the Titans, and we're going to be doing Tin Cup in the next couple weeks. So yes. get geared up for those three great sports movies. That Alicia looks super excited to see. As long as you do not make me watch Kingpin again. You will. It's like one of the few bowling movies in the world. I'm sorry. You're going to have to watch Kingpin. That makes me vomit. <laughs> you're going to have to watch Kingpin. I'm sorry. <laughs> I watch It's Kingpin. just the way it works. It's like one of like five bowling movies ever made. Then let's watch the other four. <laughs> They're all Disney movies. No. So you're going to have to watch Kingpin. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're just going to have to get the fuck over it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll catch you again on Friday. Goodbye. Bye.